I wanted to do a quick video and show you how to connect your Laravel application to the DigitalOcean managed Redis clusters. So I have a Laravel application already installed on Ubuntu 18.04 droplet. It is running Nginx and PHP 7.2. So if I run PHP Artisan, you'll be able to see that I'm running the latest Laravel version, which is 6.15. I also have a managed Redis cluster setup. I've got my host and my credentials that I would later on need for my connection string. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you install the PHP Redis module out of the Ubuntu repo, it comes with an outdated version 3.1.6, which doesn't support TLS. And the managed Redis cluster requires TLS connections, otherwise it would not work. What we would need to do is install the latest PHP Redis module from the Pekka website. We should probably go for 5.1 or just the latest. This would allow us to connect to the Redis cluster via TLS. So let's get started. The first thing that I would do is install the PHP pair package, which allows us to install PHP packages with the Pekka command. I would next run Pekka to see if the command is available. As you can see, it's already there. The next thing that you would like to install is the PHP dev package so that we could compile the packages that we download from the Peko website. It might take a while, so I'll just speed the process up. Let me clear my screen. And next we'll use Peko to install the latest Redis module. So if I run Peko install Redis, you'll be able to see that Peko connects to the peko.php.net website and it gets the latest Redis module, which is 5.1. It downloads the archive, then we could use the defaults here. After that, thanks to the PHP dev tools that we just installed, the new package would be compiled. I'll just speed the process up. And now to enable the Redis extension, we should just add this line to our PHP INI file. Uh, let me go ahead and copy this quickly clear my screen, then open the PHP INI file. As I'm using PHP 7.2, the location of my PHP INI file is as follows. EDC, PHP 7.2, FPM, PHP INI. And if I go to the bottom of the file, just add a small comment that it's ready, and then I'll paste this in here. Let's go ahead and save that, exit, one last thing that we will need to do is quickly restart PHP FPM. Let's check the status and make sure that it's running. Now we can go ahead and proceed with the Redis configuration. So I would update the Redis host. Let me grab the host name from the DigitalOcean control panel, paste that in here, followed by the Redis password that I will again copy, paste it in here. And finally, let's put the custom Redis port that looks good, let's go ahead and save it. Actually, one more thing that I forgot to add is the TLS protocol before the Redis hostname. That way we would actually connect through TLS, which is required by the managed Redis cluster. Let's save that again. The next thing that we would like to do is create a controller. So let's type PHP artisan make controller, and I'm going to call this connection checker. Hit enter, the controller was successfully created. Next, we would like to add our method that we would use to test our connection. I have my method ready here. I'm just gonna paste it so that you guys don't have to watch me type it. All that this method does is it tries to connect to the Redis database and it lets us know if the connection was successful or not. Now let's go ahead and add our route. Let's open the routesweb.php file go to the bottom and let's do a get route for slash redis and let's put our controller here followed by the name of the method. Save that and exit. Now we are ready to test our connection. I'll just go to my browser, visit my IP and type slash redis. <laughs> Let me just type that correctly. Okay, so we're getting class Redis not found. That's because I forgot to import the Redis facade. Let's go back to our controller and 
Let's put the Redis facade here. Quickly save that, go back to our browser, hit refresh, and now we should be able to see a successful message. Let me quickly show you what would happen if you don't specify the TLS protocol before the name of your Redis cluster. Let's go to the env file and delete the TLS protocol. Save that, go back to our browser and refresh, and you can see that we are getting an error. That is because the managed Redis cluster supports only TLS connections. I'll reverse that change and put the TLS protocol back, save that, go back to our browser, hit refresh, and we are able to connect again. And this is pretty much it. This is how you can connect your Laravel application to the DigitalOcean managed Redis clusters.